and Genius Awards for today. First one going to a Seattle man who told police that he crashed his car into a utility pole because he was owl watching. Owl watching. (laughs) Police came upon a pre-dawn accident and assumed the man had been driving drunk, but he told officers he rammed into the pole because he was in hot pursuit of one of the nocturnal birds. The driver, who is not identified, was not arrested and did not appear to be impaired by drugs or alcohol. You've uh, you've heard about, uh, you know, don't drink, drink and drive, don't text and drive, don't bird watch and drive either. You might ram into uh, a utility pole or even something worse. And then there's a 22-year-old Brazilian man who was busted for, uh, busted for driving with a suspended license right after losing his license in court. Police were lying in wait when the man exited the courthouse and got into his car fresh upon losing his license. He was originally suspended for three months. He's now facing two years. Uh, Got to get home from court somehow, I guess. And then there's the Art Institute in Pittsburgh, which had an exhibit that included a fog machine that prompted several 911 calls. Firefighters were called to a downtown public square at least twice by people who reported smoke from a new art installation. The fog machine was part of an art exhibit and it, uh, well, it belched out fog every 10 minutes to simulate a cloudy mountaintop. However, firefighters advised that the intensity of the fog bursts probably needs to be toned down to lessen the chance of future false alarms. (laughs) And there's your Genius Awards for today.